Let's talk about uh, the Secretary of State appointment, Mr. Tillerson. Um, what's your overall view of that appointment? Disappointed. I mean, not much of a record in uh, expressing views about foreign policy. Very, so far as I can tell, kind of an establishment guy and a big business guy, which is not always the interest of the U.S. So, from my point of view, he's not a the kind of uh, you know doesn't have my foreign policy views. But I should think a lot of the Trump supporters must be quietly a little disturbed. There's all those all that criticism of globalism and multinational corporations, and is there a more globalist multinational corporation than Exxon Mobil? So I think he'll have a tough time on the Hill. I think the Democrats will, will oppose him for mostly partly foolish reasons. You know, Exxon Mobil's bad on climate change or something. But I think people are concerned about his closeness to Putin. People can say, uh, defenders will say, well, that's just part of being head of ExxonMobil, and I guess to which I'd respond, well, fine, but that's maybe that's why the head of ExxonMobil doesn't, shouldn't become Secretary of State of the United States. What about uh, the support he got from uh, Gates and Condi Rice, uh, who, as it turns out, they they work for a firm that, that, that does work with, uh, with ExxonMobil. So there's a kind of a connection there. You see a conflict of interest in them telling Donald Trump that they liked, that, tell, you know, liked him? You know, I'm sure they genuinely do like him. They're part of the same. Some of them have Texas ties. I think Baker and Cheney with Tillerson. Others just sort of foreign, uh, you know, business establishment ties. I think there's a consulting relationship too. Again, I mean, Trump was supposed to shake some of this up. This strikes me as the most establishment appointment you could possibly have. And whether you're more of a human rights type like me or a populist type who wants to shake things up, like a lot of the Trump supporters. I don't know that this is what they expected, and there's not much, just not much evidence, honestly, that he's ever. Of course, he's an international businessman, so he does stuff abroad. But he's not. The, there are many international businessmen who have written articles on foreign policy, gotten involved in study groups, you know, had a position, you know, tried to push a certain point of view, and he just seems to have done none of that. So it's very unclear what his why one would want him as Secretary of State, Secretary of Energy. No one would complain, obviously, you know.